Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to Vlogmas day number four. So this video is one that technically I should have been filming two years ago. Um, we originally set up this channel, or I originally set up this channel for our Disney vlogs. So we went in November yeah November 2019 and lots of you watch them videos and I just want to say thank you for watching them like they're my favorite kind of videos to make um so we went to Disneyland Paris in November 2019 we just caught the Christmas season and we loved it that much we booked to go back with the intention of obviously vlogging it again and creating some content around that again and for obvious reasons that I'm not gonna bore you with because I feel like we're all bored of it now um for obvious reasons that holiday didn't happen so what I'm going to do in this video is talk kind of a little bit of what we were meant to be doing and then also what we are going to be doing I'm putting the positive vibes out there because our new holiday is so 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 close um but I don't think I'll actually believe we're there until we're there like it's going ahead um here's a clue as to where we're going and when we're going um but yeah i'll tell you a little bit first about what it should have been and what never was and then how it's actually kind of worked out a little bit in our favor i guess so like i said originally we went to disneyland paris in november 2019 it was literally amazing such a good holiday we just caught the start of christmas season and there was myself there was sam who's my boyfriend and there was arlo who is our little boy and he just had his second birthday and we'd gone like pretty much a couple of days after when we got back we then booked to go for the following summer so that would have been summer 2020 i think i'm right in saying that and i can't remember the dates of everything or what everything happened but We'd booked to stay in the Marvel Hotel. We'd booked to go for Lion King season because at the time Arlo was really, really into Lion King. And there was a couple of other things that we'd booked to wear as well that was like around that kind of summer theme. Um, <clears throat> obviously, we all know what happened. So COVID came and that holiday never went ahead. Uh, we had to, I can't remember if we, if we had to rearrange it or if we just felt it was safer to rearrange it. I can't really remember what happened, but long two year story short, is that holiday that we originally booked, we actually booked it in 2019 for 2020. That is the holiday that we are going on now. So I think like a lot of people, it's just a holiday that has been rescheduled. I rescheduled, I think this is our third or fourth time we've rescheduled it. Um, like literally please like this is gonna be the one and um, we're so close now i've tried to leave this video to the very last minute of when we're going to be going i'm not going to go through exact dates of things but just to kind of give you a rough idea of when we're going to be going what's happening what we're going to be up to i'm so excited um it's a really weird time and like if you've got a holiday book you'll be the same it's kind of between being really excited wanting to plan wanting to organize the organizing and the planning is honestly half of the fun for me like i literally love it especially disney holidays um but then also trying to be cautious and there's always that one percent in your brain of like oh, until i'm actually until i'm like mickey mouse is in front of me from a social distance i don't think i'm gonna believe that i'm actually on my holiday so that's kind of the mental battle that's going on at the minute a lot has changed since we went to uh, Disneyland the first time. Um, well, actually, I went when I was little, but like our first time as a holiday, like family holiday. A lot has changed. So how crazy is this? When we first went, we had Arlo and that was it. And I, I wasn't pregnant. We didn't have Hallie. Like we just had Arlo. And the holiday that we were meant to be going on with Arlo, like the three of us, since then, I have now... <laughs> been pregnant obviously for nine months and Hallie is now one well she's actually over one and that really puts into perspective for me for like how long we were actually waiting for this holiday but also in a really lovely way and this is what I was saying like kind of everything not everything happens for a reason but you can find a silver cloud and everything that 
um i guess now we get to go we would have gone with her anyway but she's not missed too many trips like she's gonna be here and obviously it's amazing that she's here and we can all go on a family holiday together so we're now a family of four going to disneyland not a family of three and we are going at christmas time as if you can't tell i've got like the candy cane ears on i've got my christmas spirit jersey on even though i know this is for walt disney world but I got my it's got christmas snacks on it like please look how cute this is oh literally obsessed um so i don't care that it's walt disney world like it's christmas and it's christmas snacks and it's mickey shaped christmas snacks so obviously it's coming with us and i needed to wear it for this vlog so yes we are going in christmas time we are going <clears throat> if i say in around two weeks um we're not going to be there for christmas day we're going to be back before christmas day but when we went the first time it was only just christmas season so i don't think we saw the any christmas parades obviously there was, there was still illuminations on which isn't on at the minute which is a bit sad um and we'll just miss it it is being brought back the, the illuminations of the fireworks is being brought back but we'll miss it by a few days which is fine because there's so many other things going on but yeah the first time we went christmas season it had just started so there was decorations but that was pretty much it um and there's going to be a lot of changes and a lot of different things we want to do so i'm going to talk about that as well so just to give you an idea of um, where we're staying and what our plans are i will literally tell you all of that now so i just need to quickly check on my phone because i always get these mixed up so basically what we're doing this time is traveling down the day before and then we'll stay over in paris and then we'll go to the park the next day the reason for this is we drive to to disneyland and we live in manchester so it's a fair drive and what we did last time was we drove on what should have been technically our first day at the park which is absolutely fine and we had an amazing time but we'd been traveling so long we set off at like midnight got there during the day and in my mind we would just be there and would have the day in the park but we were also exhausted from the travel um we pretty much walked around the park and then ended up back in the hotel room just exhausted so if you're doing it that way you'll still have an amazing time like you you'll get there and you'll love it but for us um we was absolutely exhausted by the time we got to the to the hotel room so this time just kind of learning from our previous trip could you did you hear my stomach grumbling then i'm so sorry for the camera picked that up i'm so hungry after this i need to get some food um so yeah we're kind of learning from what happened last time and we're traveling down the day before and we are staying at so it's still we're still going all the way to paris um but we're staying at the magic circus hotel the night before um which i'm really excited about because i've seen amazing reviews and it's very family orientated so I know the kids are gonna love it more so Arlo because obviously he's a bit older so he's a bit more aware um so we're staying there the night before and then the next day we will go to Disneyland um and we are going to be staying at which I cannot wait to see Arlo's face because I just think he's gonna lose his mind we're staying at the Marvel or the Ult. let me get this right we're staying at the Hotel New York Art of Marvel so it's a Marvel themed hotel, but more specifically, it's um, all of the artwork that is around the Marvel films, which is really super cool for me because my dad's an artist. I'm really into my art. So the fact that the hotel is themed around the artwork, not just the films and the characters, like I find that really cool. So yeah, so we're staying there for four nights and five days. So again, the last time we went, we did three nights and four days, which was plenty enough time um but what kind of gave us less time was that Arlo was napping a lot when we first went and obviously if you're only there for four days and you've got children who are napping that can take some time out so Hallie obviously is now at that age where she'll be napping so by us doing four nights five days it just gives us a bit more time to not be rushing around to try and do things so we're staying four nights five days at the hotel new york out of marvel and then we check out and we go and stay at the explorers hotel i believe it's called let me check yeah the explorers hotel so we check out and then we'll go and check into the explorers hotel 
and again we might learn from this it might be the perfect way to do it it might not it might not work out it, we might find a, a better way to do it the next time but we're gonna have our last full day in the park as a full day and then we're going to go to explorers and we're going to stay there and then the next day we'll set off and we'll come home and again the reason for that is like i said last time we stayed three nights four days the first day we spent traveling the last day we spent traveling so we kind of only got really like two full days and then two half days because we were traveling so much and obviously you kind of pay for your park tickets included in your price so i just kind of felt like would pay to be in the park for that full day and actually we'd only got a few hours on the first day and the last day hope that makes sense i hope i've explained that properly so yeah so we're doing a stay before and we're doing a stay after and it's literally just to help us with uh, the drive down so obviously we're going through the euro tunnel in the car me and sam usually split the drive and we're super excited we love going in the car because especially with kids like we're going to have a double pram obviously arlo doesn't usually use a pram but i would definitely recommend it for younger children because it's so much walking what i'll do is a separate video on tips more maybe family tips um, for Disneyland Paris when I get back I will do that but that's definitely one of them is um, double pram or pram even if your children don't usually use them because they've, they've grown out of them like it's honestly so much walking so we've got a double pram we've, we just like taking the car because we can load it up obviously Hallie's still in nappies um, obviously we'll be buying lots of merchandise so that gives us more room to bring it back and yeah like for us it's just the perfect way for traveling so that's where we're staying i'm super super excited we have booked a superior room with a terrace um and call me crazy but my thinking with this is when the kids are asleep we've got a little terrace so maybe me and sam can sit outside in our onesies or dressing gowns and have like a mulled wine or i don't know we probably won't even use the terrace but i just like the idea of having that and also by asking for a terrace room it means you can guarantee you're on the ground floor so when you've got a pram it means you're not waiting for lifts um which was one of the biggest reasons as well for choosing that room so i know we're going to be on the ground floor which is going to be easier with hallie and the pram so yeah super excited to see our room never even been inside this hotel before last time we went we stayed in the disneyland hotel which is actually in the park um so we missed kind of all of Disney Village. We didn't wander out to it. So I feel like this time we're gonna see a lot more of the, the park and Disney Village, which I'm really, really excited about. We've also booked some dining reservations. I was gonna do a separate video on these, but I have so many videos planned for Vlogmas. I don't think I'll be able to fit it in. So I'll really quickly now tell you the dining reservations that we've got booked. And obviously in the vlogs you'll see any other quick service meals and snacks, Disney snacks that we're going to have. So the first one that I know that we've got is, I'm pretty sure it's our first night, is at the Manhattan restaurant in our hotel, which I'm so excited for. Don't know how easy or difficult it is to get reservations at that restaurant when you're actually in the park. Um, but when I was on the Disneyland Paris app, which looks like this, where you can book all of your dining, um, the Manhattan restaurant just, it was never available. It was fully booked out at all times for however many people, all days. It was just, you just couldn't book it. So I'm in a group on Facebook that's for like tips for Disneyland and someone very kindly gave me the email address for the hotel. Um, I think it was for the concierge and I emailed them and asked for a dining reservation so they confirmed that so we've actually got a table I think it's for six o'clock on the first night that we get there um, and the Manhattan restaurant is just beautiful I've seen lots of videos and pictures Sam's not looked at anything he's the opposite of me he likes everything to be a surprise whereas I will literally plan everything <laughs> as much as I can I just want to know everything so I've booked the Manhattan and then I've also booked Shea Remy, which we went to on our first trip. And honestly, so good. So, so good. Um, I should probably mention, actually, we've got the Half Board Plus dining plan, um, which, again, because we booked it two years ago, 
we got it as a package deal. Um, so we've got like hotel, dining plan, I think we got a hundred euro gift card. Um, yeah, so now if you go to book, I don't think at the minute there's any package deals on at the moment, which is such a shame because we feel like the dining especially, as long as you do it right and you, you're eating in the places that make it worth it, like it's definitely really good value for money. So we booked Jay Rame. Um last time we went there we had steak and um dolphin dolphin wrap potatoes, which I can never say, but I keep thinking about them. They're so good. <laughs> They're so good, I can't wait to get back and have them potatoes and steak again. So yeah, so we've got that one booked for our <clears throat> last night. So yeah, booked in that hotel um uh, not hotel, I've booked us in that restaurant for the last night. And then also I've booked Captain Jack's. So Captain Jack's is part of the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. I'm a little bit nervous about this one because me and Sam aren't, well Sam doesn't eat seafood. I'm not the biggest seafood eater and I know the kids won't eat seafood. Um, and I looked at the menu and although it is like mainly seafood, there is some chicken dishes and other things on there as well. But I really, really wanted to book this restaurant because Arlo's at the age at the minute, he's four, he loves pirates. Um, and also I believe that from the restaurant, you're kind of almost in the ride. Like you can see the ride go past, I think. Um, so it sounds really, really well themed. So I'm just super excited for that. Anything that's like immersive, Disney are amazing at so we're booked to go there as well and that is on our third night I think um we're booked to go there so I'm really really excited about them mainly excited to see um the kids faces when they see especially Arlo when he sees uh Captain Jack and all the pirate theme and I think he will absolutely love that so that's pretty much everything I think the only thing I've not mentioned is obviously travel restrictions at the moment it changed literally yesterday and as much as my gut feeling is like yeah it's so close now we're gonna be there it's gonna be no problem like we'll be fine we'll have an amazing holiday rules have changed really recently as in yesterday uh france changed the rules where now when we go we have to do a test 48 hours uh before we arrive i believe um, at the minute I don't think they've confirmed whether it's a PCR test or whether we can do a lateral flow We're really fortunate in that if it is a PCR obviously they're slightly more expensive That there's only me and Sam um, So it's it's not too costly. I have seen other people uh, Again in these Disney groups that if they've got a large family or they're going with a large group the price of the test that they would need to do Is like 800 pound a thousand pound. It's nearly been as much as the holiday um, which is so sad, it's such a shame and it's such a shame that it's, it, it kind of came from nowhere and there wasn't really any notice. That was a really recent change and there was that was yesterday and there was a moment where I was a bit nervous because I thought if they're tightening restrictions again, could that lead to things escalating and then looking at travel and travel restrictions. So fingers crossed everyone that that's it now that's the only change they're going to implement is that test which is fine obviously we have to test when we come back which we, we knew about anyway and we we was fine with that we've planned for that so yeah all positive staying positive just cannot wait to go obviously it's going to be full-blown christmas season there's so many things that i've seen that sam and the kids don't know about so meeting santa the advent calendar near the castle, the Christmas parade and that it changes from day to night, all the characters in the Christmas costumes, there's literally, there's a bauble making um, activity place you can go to. My stomach is rumbling so much, I'm so sorry if it's picking up, I must be very hungry. Um, but yeah, literally there's so many different Christmassy things there. I'm so, so excited. I can't wait to see the kid's face. That's honestly the biggest thing I get out of it is seeing how excited, especially Arlo, uh, is going to be when he sees everything. So yeah, please send us all of the positive vibes that we're able to go. I'm sure everything will be fine. Obviously it means I'm going to be vlogging as well, so there'll be vlogs to come after Vlogmas. Um, I'll be posting them and I'm going to do a couple of videos within Vlogmas just a little bit more about our trip. So I think I'm going to do a pack with me video and we're going to do a Disneyland Paris 
bucket list video as a family all the different things that we want to do whilst we're there so keep an eye out for those i really hope that you've enjoyed this video if you have please hit the subscribe button and drop it a like or a comment i will reply to all of your comments comments just to say hi uh, thank you so much for everyone who has been watching my vlogmas so far as well it does mean a lot because it is a lot of work <laughs> didn't realize how much work it was going to be um but yeah thank you so much and i will see you tomorrow for day five <laughs> bye <laughs>